Our 2013 CES coverage is powered by Ford. Go further. For Hack 5, I'm Darren Kitchen here at CES 2013 with Jay Moore at Luxy. How are you, Jay? I'm doing great. It's a pleasure to talk to you today. You know, I, I must admit, I'm a huge fan of POV cameras in general, and I did try out the Luxy because, okay, uh, I'm sorry, this is probably your spiel, but I will tell the audience, guys, I love POV cameras. I love, like, you know, anything that you can strap to a motorcycle helmet and do some video blogging and things of that nature. And the Luxy one, really cool because Bluetooth on your phone, you can see what you're looking at. Absolutely. Clips your ear, like, tur turn to the left. Isn't that neat? Yeah. Standard definition. I got to tell you, man, I, I actually came over because I saw the booth and I'm like, Dude, I gotta, I gotta grief you for a bit for being all standard def. What's going on? Well, so, so we've got a couple of great things going on. Standard definition works great for people who want to conserve bandwidth. So we've always had that capability. But we wanted to give our consumers a little bit more. So we've got our brand new high definition product, 1080p, 60 frames per second. It's got great features like a user removable battery, use a removable SD card, and you put a little rubber gasket on the back and it's dunkable down to a foot so you can get it wet. Uh, great thing about it, records full 1080p in all its glorious color and detail. It also streams. So everything that we do streams live to the internet, streams live to your Facebook account. So does it stream via Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and, and how does it get to the internet? Sure, so um, the LX2, is a Bluetooth device, so it connects Bluetooth to a Android thingy or an iOS thingy, uh, and then uses 3G, 4G, or Wi-Fi out to the internet. The LXHD connects via Wi-Fi to your iOS or Android thingy, uh, tablets, phones, whatever. If it runs the operating system, it works. So you get a much better frame rate. You do, 60 frames per second. Uh, and then it uses 3G, 4G, or Wi-Fi back out. Uh, so you can get a big pipe with the HD. So tell me, so what, what's the battery life on this guy like? Battery life on this for uh, full streaming is about two hours, which is about equal to any of the other point of view cameras if you're doing continuous recording. But unlike others, the user removable battery means that you can add more. Plus, it's got a little micro SD uh, uh, connection in the back which means you can use any one of the USB external batteries that you could wear on your belt. You can record in real time while that battery is connected. And uh, as far as the, the recording onto the card, uh, you put 32 gig SD card on there, record for hours and hours. Hours and hours. Uh, at full 1080p, it's about eight hours. And you can always replace it and put it in a new one. So, so tell me about this. Uh, one of the really novel features of the, of the first Luxy or, or the, the Luxy that you're wearing right now was the idea that you could set it on a continuous loop and then press a button to say, hey, something that's happened in the last five minutes was cool, let's keep that. So our instant replay mode, we've got the continuous buffer. If you're in that mode, there's a little button right on the bottom here, you press it and you get the last 30 seconds of whatever was re-recorded re into a clip. So you get your highlight reel of the goals scored at a football game, that special moment with your children, or the mess up that your friends did when they fell off the roof. <laughs> because when your friends are drinking and they're playing with ladders on the roof, you really need to be wearing one of these. You want to record that forever. <laughs> so tell me about the unit that I'm wearing right now. Sure. That is um, our new unit. It's the Tough model. It's a part of our enterprise solution that we're announcing today. Uh, it's a new brand called Vidsy by Luxy. Uh, and that unit fits on a variety of different uh, accessories like fancy safety glasses. Uh, it's designed for industrial use. The product is connected to a eight hour full shift battery for say police work or on the factory floor or in industrial solutions. The camera is also ruggedized and it's designed for low light conditions, a little more than 100 lumens. So you could be uh, at night with a squad car and be able to get the video you need uh, for being used out in the field. Uh, we've partnered with Taser and it's being used by local and state uh, police forces nationwide right now. So that's great. I'm an officer. I've pulled someone over for swerving or whatever and rather than just my dash camera, uh, 
you know, this, whether it's mounted on my, my glasses or, or say my, you know, epaulets yep, yep. or, Absolutely. or uh, and then I'm wearing like a backpack or a belt pack or something. There's a little battery that fits on your belt, a little wire that goes up. Uh, it's a full shift thing. And more importantly, it can connect to the internet afterwards. I know that Taser uh, has their evidence.com piece, connects in and uploads all the uh, video to evidence.com for use in, in litigation. That is really cool. How do I get my hands on one of these? Uh, you go to vidc.com, V-I-D-C-I-E.com, or luxie.com, L-O-O-X-C-I-E, and uh, we can hook you up. So what are these uh, What are these running? What's the price point and the uh, availability of the HD? Sure, HD is available nationwide right now at Amazon, uh, Adorama, b and Photo, the Luxie website itself. Uh, and will be available in Europe starting in two weeks at Apple stores and Apple online. It'll also, uh, the LX2 is available all of those plus at Verizon stores nationally. Awesome, thanks so much, I really appreciate it. Great, thank you. For continued coverage of all things CES 2013, be sure to head over to revision3.com. I'm here at the Ford booth at CES 2013 with Ed. How are you doing, Ed? Hey, Darren. How's it going? And we're checking out the TDK. What is a TDK? I'm used to an SDK. What, <laughs> right. what is TDK? TDK is a technology development kit um, that developers can get for uh, you know app link enabling their apps instead of you know buying a vehicle or if they already have one, they can use an existing one. So this is a TDK. You basically have all the same interfaces as you would a, a normal vehicle. Um, you got the screen. You got the center stack with all the different buttons, preset buttons, Ford uh, back. Um, as well as some uh, car simulation uh, toggles, so you can turn the car off, open doors, um, set it to go forward and reverse, um, have it parked or not parked, things like that. So what kind of partners have you guys uh, teamed up with to enable apps to come to Ford? Right, so I mean everybody knows you know, a lot of the music streaming apps like Pandora, IR Radio, Slacker, NPR. Um, we also did some navigation based apps, uh, Scout from Telenav. Um, we have our own sync destinations, um, MLB at bat, um, and a whole slew of more coming out um, you know, every, every few months. Awesome. Where can our hackers find the developer network to start coding up some awesome stuff for it's, the core? It's pretty easy, just like everything else, developer.ford.com. There we go. All right, and with all of that, I want to thank once again Ford for powering our CES coverage. <laughs>